Where else can technology and music mix to strike a sweet chord than in California's Silicon Valley? Startup company ideas seem to spring up every day there. And now a new innovation that allows you to sit down and play the guitar without clearing out the room. Mark Newey now joins us live from Silicon Valley to explain. Mark. Sean, it seems like that nearly every startup these days in Silicon Valley is essentially an app maker. Well, um, that leaves many wondering whether all these engineers out here are ever going to get back to producing things you can physically get your hands on. Don Beck is one such engineer. He's tapping into success with an invention he calls the GTAR. This is where many Silicon Valley dreams are born. Hewlett Packard got its start in surroundings like this, as did Apple, but this is Idan Beck's garage, where he built prototype after prototype until he literally struck the right chord. It's called the GTAR. It looks like a standard electric guitar, but with an important difference. Instead of pickups that amplify the strings, the GTAR has digital sensors that relay the notes you pluck to an iPhone that docks right in the guitar's body. The notes are illuminated and depending on the program, can also nudge you in the right direction. I never had a formal guitar lesson before, but this device still allows me to enjoy music. It's an example of what the founder calls transparent technology. This idea where technology is going to integrate into the experiences that we have transparently to the user. You're just having the experience of playing music uh, and technology is interwoven into that without you really thinking about it. And I think that's going to, you know, music's a great place for it to start because it's a tangible, immersive experience. Beck envisions a world of electronic shoes and shampoo bottles that automatically order refills when they're low. But in order for transparent technology to take off, he believes Silicon Valley needs to bring the focus back on hardware, like at the company he founded, Incident Technologies. The GTAR originally met resistance from U.S. companies that felt hardware was too risky and too expensive. That forced him to connect with a manufacturing team in Shenzhen, China, near Hong Kong in southern China. This piece of plastic here, right here, in America it cost me five, not five, but two and a half thousand dollars. This, this, just this little thing. That, that's a prototype design. This equivalently in China would cost me a tenth of that. Beck expects the first GTAR units, priced around $450, to be shipped around September. The GTAR recently won second place at the TechCrunch Disrupt competition in New York. In a contest dominated by software companies, Beck believes it went a long way toward proving that hardware ideas can still get their start in Silicon Valley. The company recently ran a campaign on Kickstarter, the site that allows you to donate to a certain cause. Their goal was $100,000. They ended up raising more than $350,000. That will allow them to produce their first 100 units of the GTAR in factories in China. In turn, hopefully that will help many other people to play Stairway to Heaven a little better than myself. Yeah, I was going to say, Mark, we took a poll here in the studio, and we're all stunned that you have never had a lesson before. You fooled us. But it really is a great, interesting uh, piece of uh, technology, hardware. If that funding does come along, what does Incident Technology want to concentrate on next? Well, there's still many things to be worked out, especially the music selection. Um, I talked to founder Adon Beck today, and he said that they are currently in negotiations over music rights with some very big labels, oh. so that's on the agenda there. Um, another important thing to uh, get worked out is apps, which is kind of ironic because they would be uh, having app developers develop it for the iPhone, which in turn would be used for their device. So their device is essentially working as a console for the, the uh, iPhone to plug in sort of as a plug-and-play cartridge. Kind of an interesting concept there. Um, Adon says some of the music education and video apps that are being produced for them right now are pretty mind-blowing. So we'll look forward to that soon. John. Mind-blowing and rocking the story for us out in Silicon Valley, Mark Newey. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mark.